Hey guys, so I wanted to just make this little video. Uh, this is my TED 5000. That's the readings for my solar coming in right now. 1,979. I just added a few more uh, 500 watt sun grid tie inverters from using God's free energy. He really gets those things out quick. I just ordered it three days ago. There are two of them and they came today so hooked them up. We'll go out to the array here for a minute. I ended up building a little box out here for my grid tie inverters. I have five of them out here now. They're inside this box here. The little beeping you hear is the uh, kilowatt meter. The reading on that is 2097. Lose a, lose a hundred watts. I'll have to check the other meter when I go in. You can see here all five of my good tie inverters. Three on the bottom, two on the top. I have a big power jack 3000 back here. This thing, before I added these 500 watt inverters, this 3000 watt inverter was only putting out 300 watts. It worked good for a little while, but then it stopped working. So if any of you guys have any ideas of how I can fix that, if I can add new parts to it, it would be nice to get that up, go up and going again. These are the panels that used to be up on my roof before I had my roof done. I got them on a little cart now with wheels. There's a 250 watt inverter on here. I don't know if I can get it in the video or not. Somewhere down in there. It's putting out the gauge there says 118 watts, I think. Which doesn't seem like much. It's 131 watts. This inverter doesn't seem to push too much for some reason. I have 280 watt panels and 8 15 watt panels, so I should be pushing way more than that. I'll probably end up wiring these two top panels in series and pairs of these in series so two of these in series four times and then I'll just run them to the big array I'll hook them right into that and I was actually putting those kilowatt meters to the test I'm gonna take them out of the system there because they're getting overpowered um, I've just kind of been keeping an eye on them to make sure they don't heat up. They feel nice and cool. Nothing really seems to be heating up too bad. You can hear the one in the basement here is beeping away too. This one says 1,875. It's a cloudy day so these readings are not too accurate right this second. As soon as it hits over 1,800 it starts to beep. But like I said, none of my wires, this kilowatt meter, wires going into this breaker, nothing's not even warm at all. Everything's cool to the touch. Alright guys, I just wanted to give you that little update. Thanks for watching.